Understanding count ifs is critical to your Excel mastery. Let's talk about how this formula works and walk through several examples. So let's talk about the count ifs formula. What does the count ifs formula do? It counts the number of cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. You can count the number of cells in a table that match a certain criteria. If I highlight my rating in my table, F4 to lock that in place, and then highlight a criteria of A, B, or C, I can really easily see the different breakdown of ratings in my table. If I want to check to make sure I've counted for all of my cells, I can use a count A of my different rating column equal to the sum in my table. And I can see that it is true because the count A of 21 is equal to the sum of my table of 21. Helpful to check your analysis to make sure it is blended correctly. If you want to do a count if on numeric values, you can write a count ifs. Criteria range will be the salary. And then your criteria can either be a direct value. So if I wrote 114 and $20, I would get an answer of one as there is only one value equal to that exact value, or I can use greater than or less than operators. But what I will need to do is put them in quotation marks. So if I open my quotation, 75,000, close my quotation, I can now see there are 16 employees that make more than $75,000 a year. Or what I could do is I could link this to another cell and I could link it to the salary criteria in cell H11. I can fill that down and now I can see the number of employees that make more than 90,000, make more than 100,000 within my employee base. If you want to use a count ifs on a date value, for instance, if you wanted to see the number of employees that have been hired since a certain year, you can do a count ifs on your date column F4 to lock that in place, and then use a quotation mark to indicate greater than or equal to, close that quotation mark, ampersand to concatenate, and then a date formula to easily find the serial number or the year you are looking for. So I can put 2018, 01, 01, and what that will give me is 21 employees that have been hired since January 1st, 2018. I can also simply link this year. So if I wanted to make this more dynamic, I could link this date formula to my table and then fill that down. And now I know 21 of my employees have been hired since 2018, 15 since 2019, 14 since 2020. What I could also do is add another column. If I wanted to add a column called year, I could use a year formula to find the year in my hire date. Quick bonus trick for making years, control one custom. If you just put a zero, it will give you a really nice year without any format or decimals, which I often find to be very helpful. So if you wanted to check this, you could do a count ifs on your year column, F4 to lock that in place, and then do a greater than or equal to operator, bracketed in quotation marks, ampersand, and then highlight the criteria in your table. If you fill that down, you can see that we have the same exact result as referring to the serial number in our date value. We can use count ifs with multiple criteria. So if I wanted to look at both the higher date and the rating, I could write a count ifs. My first criteria range will be my rating. I'll use F4 to lock that in place. My criteria one will be the rating in my table. F4 to lock that in its column, leave the row flexible. My criteria range two will be my higher date, F4 to lock that in place. And then my criteria two will be open quotation mark, greater than or equal to ampersand date, the year in my table, F4 to lock that in its row, leave the column flexible, month zero one day zero one and now i can fill that through my table and i can look at out of all the employees that have been hired since 2018 what are their rate for all the employees that have been hired since 2020 what are their rating count ifs is very helpful for understanding the number of records in a table that match a certain criteria